What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Roblox episode. But before we before we go, look, I've got a custom shirt that I've just made for this. So I if you guys want to know how to make these, then I can do a tutorial if anybody's interested in making something like this. If you want to buy this, it's only 20 Robux and be part of the fan club the of the Semantics Antics and join the Antics, then this is on the store and it'll be left in the description. Right. But what we're going to be doing today is making a dropper that has a conveyor. And when it gets to the end, it hits a collector that goes into leaderboard stats. So yes, there's a lot to get done today. And I will see you guys in the scripting. So let's start off with the leader stat. So what you need to do first is go to workspace and create a script. I named it leaderboard handler just to make it easier on me. So you want to make a function that in the game, so when the game starts, find the players and then get when a player is added, um, connect the function. So connect this function and also take from it the player, right? And then you want to list some variables, local leader stat equals instance new folder. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a brand new folder. But because we've taken player, it's able to put a brand new folder called leader stats into the player, right? And then what we what we need to do and make sure you get this one perfect because Roblox runs off a specific algorithm of where it has to for some reason have leader stats right so do name the leader stats dot name equals leader stats with no capital make sure it no capital because it is case sensitive um so then we do another variable of local money and we're going to be creating a new instance but this is going to be creating an int value so in when someone joins it's going to create a brand new folder and then um, inside in, inside of this folder now, it's going to create an int value. And this int value is going to be placed into the folder that we've just named leader stats. And that's going to be given a name money, right? So, so to see this in action, we will just keep your eyes over here and then we will see what happens. So if you go to players, then um, Samael, um, which is my character, um, and then we go to leader stats. We have actually got the int value here that's been created. So whenever someone joins in this game now, we will be creating a leader stat, right? So now on to the next part. So what you want to do next, guys, is you want to create a model. So let's go a model. Then you want to create um, inside of the model. You want to make a part and then add a script. Well, you want the script inside of the model. Um, where is it? See, like this. So this now, so this part, you can actually add walls to this like I've done over here. What we want to do is we want to rename this to conveyor, your, not a, right? And then from that, we will go into this script and then we will make this code, right? So local quickness equals 30. So this sets a number an integer of 30 um, for just to be saved later now this goes script dot parent so the model um find the conveyor and then the, its velocity equals the um, the the conveyor c frame right vector plus um times quickness so this is this is going right from where we've created it so if you for for example let's make another part if you create another one this if we scale it if you wanted to go this is how we are going so it's going to go be go, going along the right from how we placed it if you wanted to go forward it would be um vector forwards but we won't get into that so you're making sure that you've make sure when you place it that it's on um, you whichever way you want it to go is going to be right for this one and um, just if you're following along and what you want to do is just write this code and then if we jump into the game we should sorry guys my, um i thought well i accidentally pressed the key binding my recording so this is what it should be doing now after you've completed this code um, it should be pushing you all the way this way. So if we now did speed 
minus in minus speed. So let's get minus sign out. That's a plus. That's an equal sign type. There we go. So now we put minus. We'll just save this and play this. This means it's just going to take the opposite direction. So this is easily makes it go left and right. See what see what I mean? So the next thing that we need to do, um, which I previously recorded this and accidentally pressed space, which was a key bind to stop the recording. So what you need to do is make a dropper. So to make a dropper, you just need to have all of the parts into a model. So we have called this the dropper. So now we have the dropper body, which is all of these. And then we have each part. Um, every part is anchored. So make sure that you have it anchored, otherwise it will all fall to pieces. Then once you've created the look of your dropper, you need to create a dropper place. So call this dropper, and I put mine down a little bit in the transparency just so I can easily see it. And then now is the most complicated script. So yes, this looks daunting, and unfortunately I have to explain it all again because I lost the recording, or didn't record it. So, first we need to start and state some variables. So the first variable we need to state is the dropper. So we need to be able to easily get access to the dropper from the model, right? So the dropper part. So that is equals script, so the script dot parent, and then wait for the child, so wait for this, and then it's called dropper, right? And then we're setting a timer, because if we didn't have this, say we set this timer to, I'm not gonna set it to zero, but I'm gonna set it to 0 0.1, right? This, if you didn't have a timer, would literally be causing your game to break. Um, I don't think I ever set, did I set it to use the timer? I didn't. Um, so if I do timer here, and then press play. There you go. As you can see, we're getting a heck of a lot more stuff. But if you didn't, this is on 0 0.1 of a second. Imagine if you didn't put a wait sign, your game would break. Right, so now on to the next, the next part. So let's just make this back to two seconds, just um, so it's easily accessible for the net, all the times that we want. We can create timer two, timer three if we wanted separate ones, but this is for us, one dropper. Then we want to now, in the workspace, so before you actually cr create this step, go into the workspace and create a folder. So by the plus sign and create folder. This folder can be named whatever you want, but we've called it or storage. Now, in the workspace, wait for um, wait for child or storage. That's what we need to wait for, just so, it's, um, so we found it. And then we're going to do local collector. So cre and create, as you can see at the end of this, we've only got one part. It's called or collector and inside it is a collector. Now this just allows the ore that comes from the dropper to be dropped onto here and touched and then collected into our leaderboard stat. So if we go back onto the dropper script, um, as you can see, it goes game. So our game workspace which is here or collector which is here and then collector so that'll find this so this is just getting all the variables that we need for now our functions so moving on to the functions what we need to do is create a function called begin dropping because we're not actually we've not made an owner only door which will be coming very soon every, um, i'm posting these every week um go Begin dropping, make sure you put your brackets and then it will um, press enter and it will make end. This will make an end for you so you've got an entire thing to fill out. So then you want to do local or. So this creates a new new part. We've, we've called it or. So instance new. So this is creating a brand new instance. So out of the instances we have now made a part. Similar to when we dro dropped and dragged and created this. It is going to do this via script now, and it's going to do it in the game and the workspace, but it's going to be deposited into 
or storage. So if you put the comma, this is where it comes from. Similar to when you're working with a hit, you'll put comma hit, and then you'll um, you'll find um, what it hit, or the um, comma player, for example. Now we get in the position. So this is or dot c frame. So the um, the position of where this or is going to be created is at the same position as the dropper. So the dropper part that we've created on our dropper. Um, that's position okay so it will be using if we find dropper it will be creating itself at minus 63 8.5 and minus 7 so then now we're also now we're giving it some more variables just to allow it to be placed into the game this is size so size runs off three vectors the vector map of x y and z so this is x so this is um, left and right this is up and down and this is forwards and backwards right and now you now these could these could be left but it, um, i like setting them just because you can change it and it allows more custom items to come out so you've got all dot material so this goes through the list of materials for example we've got diamond plate on them on at the minute but if we were to press dot it gives you all of them via just going through and looking them with, with the up and down button so let's do neon if you want to enter it just press tab um then we've got ore and brick color so ore and brick color is again it's almost as if it creates a new instance but it's not it's creating a new color so this color would be um brick color so capital b capital c new and then we've gone for baby blue this can again if we took um took this out if I'm not mistaken, if we press this, yeah, if you press your speech marks, you get all of the colours that you could want that are in the game. Or, well, in Roblox. So let's go for Camel. I don't know what Neon Camel is going to look like, but we're going to see in a minute. Now, this is a little bit more advanced. So if we press play on this game, so let's jump into the game. Right, so now we're in the game. If you have a look over at all storage, where all of our parts are being created... We have also, inside of this, got a value. Now, we have set this value in the script, and this is what allows our playing money to actually eventually go up. So if we go into the dropper script, we have set on this, um, on this brick, so this, br um, this, this brick that's been created, um, well, the ore that's been created, um, so local price, so making a variable, which is an int value so it's a new int value and we're going to be placing this on the or or the brick because if you call this brick make sure you put this brick and then making the variable price so the name price is here dot value so this is finding the val in value and then we're setting it equal to five so that's just set it up ready to be deposited now if we didn't have this script it wouldn't need to um, be um, be deposited so this script here is what then allows you to process it so or dot touched will connect a function and then find what it hits so if what it hits is equal to the collector then play this script so game so go into the game this is this is very basic for now for a tycoon you would be working with owner but we will go into that later down the line so game dot players dot smail so my character dot leader stats dot money which is the variables we set in the leaderboard to handle it and then finding its value equals this um, the same as what we just put um, game dot players dot mail leader stats money value plus price value so what we set from when it was created and then once it has given us this into the leaderboards this will then destroy the ore so it's no longer able to be touching this and consistently giving us stats finally to call this function for now um, or even if you started a tycoon and it was the first thing that you did, you might want to add this to, so, so like we could do while button true or while, say say if we click the button, it would make, so if we had boolean button, the local button on equals false, um, and then we did, well, make sure you don't do button on like that, and then we did 
while button on so button so if we had button on this would never call right now but if we then link this to a button we could then start it dropping and do all the other things and even create it but again we won't go to, into that in this episode so what we need to do is just go while true do which is always going to be true and it's going to wait for timer so begin dropping so we're calling the begin dropping function here and we also every time it completes the begin dropping it will then wait for whatever the timer value is set so again we'll just have a look what it's like in action here we go so if you have enjoyed this episode and you have learned something or you have learned something thank you guys for watching please give me a like uh, if you're new to the channel and if you're not um, 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 if you're new to the channel then please subscribe if you're not you're a legend and if you stayed this far you're also a legend so i will see you guys in the next episode peace out